Hello and welcome back to my channel, Star Star Family here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Uh, hope you guys miss my voice, my lovely voice. Now, anyway, um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about Lugia, my fan, my favorite Pokemon. Um, yeah, we'll be talking a little bit about the stats and that as well. Now, Lugia, as you know, is a legendary Pokemon from Gen 2, um, from the Orange Islands originally, uh, from the second movie, which I have over here. Uh, just hang on a moment. And you bring him to the shrine as back here. As you guys here. can see here, I've got the movie myself as well. Uh, I. With that, don't blame yourself. So as you guys can see, I've got the movie not only on my computer but also on VHS. Yeah. Um, but anyway, let's talk a little bit about stats. Um. That wise, Lugia is a powerhouse when it comes to defense. Um, got it right here. Uh, stat wise, special defense, for example. Okay, in the in the game, uh, in the computer game that I have here, um, special defense, uh, at least for um. The one that I have here, uh, with a lonely nature, could be better. Um, special defense is 186, while regular physical defense is 144. And attack wise, 136, special attack 123, and speed 137. Actually, um, Pretty good actually. Now in Pokemon Go, um, defense, be, ah, defensive wise, Lugia is number three on the top tier list for most de defensive Pokemon. First being Shuckle. Gosh, I hate that Pokemon. I mean, when it comes to attack, Shocker is absolutely horrendous. It, it, it's useless when it comes to raids. <coughs> However, Lugia's attack... Okay, I will come to that point later. Hold that fort. Now, from a defensive point, Shocker is the highest at 410, if I remember correctly. Next is Deoxys defense form at 396 if I remember correctly. Yeah, Deoxys defense form is clo at a close second at about 396. However, um, Deoxys defense form is something I do not have. Um, I only got the normal attack and speed forms of the Oxus. Defense? Nope. Not at all. So, the next best Pokemon when it comes to defense is Lugia here at 310. Yeah, 310 when it comes to defense. Attack, uh, 90. Yeah, not exactly very good in terms of attack wise, but, um, okay, here's the thing. Attack wise, Lugia might not be the best when in Pokemon Go. However, with the correct moveset, Lugia can be a real powerhouse 
even with a low attack. If you if you put if you put extra extra sensory as a fast move combined with future sight or sky attack or hydro pump Lugia can be massively powerful okay if you unlock Lugia's second charge secondary charged move um let's say extra sensory with let's say sky attack and hydro pump for example extra sensory sky attack hydro pump in my opinion that would be a per that would be a perfect move set actually for Lugia. Now if you have two for the second one I suggest also extra sensory future sight or yeah sorry extra sensory future sight with the second one being either sky attack or hydro pump again as well. In my case where I have four, in all four I have future, I have, in all four Lugias that I have in Pokemon Go, all of them have extra sensory as a fast move. Three have future sight as a charged move, <coughs> and the last one has sky attack. So I am considering giving them, giving all four a secondary charged move. However, here's the thing that's a problem that's problematic. It's gonna cost me. 400 candies and 400,000 stardust to do so. Neither of which I have currently, so it's gonna take me a while to do that. Should I actually do it? However, it would, it, in my opinion, it would be worth giving your Lugias a secondary charge to tap. The ones that I said, it does make up for the low attack. I know, I know it sounds like I haven't, don't know what I'm talking about, it's just that I haven't made a script for this, so I'm just rambling on. And it's the name of my channel. Now, for, now that's for um, Pokemon Go, for the games on the computer, yeah. Um, the moveset that I gave my Lugia here that I caught, I gave him Shadow Ball, Psychic, Area Ace, and Hydro Pump. Okay, for now, this one is still um, up for grabs. I haven't decided on the final fourth move yet. <coughs> However, with um, Shadow Ball, for example, Shadow Ball is super effective against psychic types. So that there there's um so I can take on psychic type Pokemon with no problem. With psychic here, um fighting and poison would be weak against it. So most um so most Pokemon that have that um typing with either poison or fighting would be in trouble. Venusaur, Arbok, um, Butterfree, Machamp, Prima, Primate, for example, all of them would be in serious trouble if I, if I use Psychic on them. With Aerial Ace 
um, most cross bug and fighting types would be in serious trouble. Now there would be exceptions to that. Um, 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 um. Sizzle being one of them, being bug and steel type, so aerial ace won't be very effective against steel against um, Sizzle, but, but most other bug types, it would be super effective against most cross and bug types. Hydro pump, um, if I can. That is super effective against um, rock ground, rock ground and fire types. So, for now, this would actually be the ideal um, move set for for Luke, yeah, If you're playing the um, computer game set, which I have, at least the older one. For the newer ones, can't really say anything about that uh, because I don't have them, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, with the um, where is it? Shiny version of Lugia. I actually got both. I got the regular Lugia, and I've got the shiny version. Before I got either of them. When I first saw that Lugia had a shiny version on MNJ TV's channel, um, I think I should actually put a link in there. Um, when I first saw that Lugia had a shiny, I wasn't really that impressed. I mean, I didn't hate Lugia, it's just that the coloring scheme I just, I just didn't like. However, now that I have a shiny load here, I think I should have a green cap, screenshot, yeah. Here's my shiny load here in Pokemon Go. <sighs> when I first got him back in June, <coughs> before the, before Lugia was removed from the 7 day research streak, my gosh, did I freak out? No, really. I remember everything as if it was yesterday. I woke up, opened up my game, you know, Pokemon Go, opened the research box for that day, got my, got all the items, got the Pokemon. When I, when I got to that part, I was hoping, please be Lugia, please be Lugia, please be Lugia, please be Lugia. When I opened my eyes, it was Lugia. And I was like, yes, another Lugia. Thank God for that. And then, when I noticed the coloring scheme of it, that it was this, shiny. You could hear me. You, you, the feel, the, the the emotions, the feelings that you that I had, seeing that shiny. I can never bring that over. Like I said, l like I said in an earlier video, Lugia is my favorite. Legendary. Hands down. No comparison. I love Lugia. But when I saw that it was a shiny Lugia. My very first shiny Lugia. Egg. Shiny legendary period. After two years and seven months of playing it. There's I started in November 2016. And up to that point, I had never gotten a shiny legendary, ever. And him being the very first shiny legendary I got, I actually passed out. 
as soon as he unlocked at it, and I was like, <laughs> oh, seriously, I let, thank God I was sitting down on my bed when I when I passed out. When I woke up a few minutes later, I had to recheck to make sure I wasn't dreaming. Because it, my mind was just... <clears throat> but seriously, Lugia <coughs> is, in my opinion, the best legendary Pokemon ever. Okay, sure, it, Lugia does have quite a few weaknesses, which, which Pokemon doesn't? Seriously, which Pokemon doesn't? Sue me. Seriously, sue me, bite me, whatever. I love Lugia. Okay, if you love a different... Okay, if you have a different favorite legendary, I will accept that. This is just my honest opinion. And I'm highly biased towards Lugia. But that's all for today with my rambling. I hope you guys still enjoyed my little rant here. Cheerios! <laughs>